you see the light, is it good? Is it correlating? Yeah, I was making sure you got, you got the, cord, range the cords too. wasn't in the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. We good? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the EAPN magazine. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back, y'all boy. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome oh, back. Welcome back, y'all boy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I miss y'all. It's been a while. I miss y'all. Been a long time. Uh, I, I really don't know where y'all been, you know? Episode three, Beyond the Scope. Beyond the Scope. Well, we, we ain't at that. We beyond that. Uh, you, know what I'm you can't see it. <laughs> You gotta open the scope up a little bit more. <laughs> you gotta go beyond. That. You gotta be guided. Okay. Last episode was a good episode. Great. We appreciate the support as always. Yeah, I want to give a special shout out to my boy Jacob Belin. He just subscribed to the channel like five minutes ago. Shout out appreciate Jacob. Sub. Shout out Jacob. We uh, We trying to. We trying to hit two hundred by the end of the month. Uh, it's February the eleventh. That's an attainable goal. We almost at one fifty. Mm -hmm. Once we drop this video, we should be at one fifty. Okay. Uh. This is just things I expect from y'all. I mean, we, we all a family. Families have expectations. Right. I expect 200 by the end of the month. But if we don't, I got something for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first topic of the day. We are talking about the NFL scores of last week. Um, how everything went, the game-wise, injuries that could have possibly happened during the game, and just our thoughts about it. So we got... Um, we got the conference. There was a conference championship game. You got the 49ers and the Eagles. Final score was 31 to seven. Eagles. We were both okay. right on that, by the way. Both right. Okay. Um, we are a reliable source. Exactly. We said what happened to the Hey, y'all probably ain't gonna hit. I just gotta listen. I just gotta listen. <laughs> gotta listen. Pay I gotta listen. Pay attention. Attention to the detail. Please, <laughs> please. But then the best game. You got the Bengals and the Chiefs. Uh, final score was 23-20. I was Jeez. wrong. I was wrong on that one. Um, I, I'll be the first one to admit when I'm wrong with this shit. Um, that's my own personal mind. That's all I can say. Mm. What can you say? I mean, right? I mean, it's like you any other quarterback in the league. You give him the ball thirty seconds, he'll probably get like two I'm not plays in. I'll get, probably turn the TV off. Yeah, I, I, the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> right? Thirty seconds, Pat Mahomes. He has potential to win the game every time. Let's go 15 seconds. Even I don't know got, how he does it. Even if you got to score, you got 30 he, seconds. You got to drive the whole field. They kicked the ball at the one. The, the ball went out at the one. And you got to go 90 <laughs> You got to go 90 yards. <laughs> it's at the he one. He going to do that. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah. With that said, we about to move on to the second one. Super Bowl prediction. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, who you got? I got Chiefs. Okay. I got the Chiefs. Um... Update them on the points that you think don't occur. I got, I got, it's a 10, 10, 10 plus point game, uh, two possessions. Uh, I feel like it's going to be like in the 30s. It's going to range in the 30s. It's going to be a high scoring game. Give us a number. I want numbers. Um, I'm a numbers guy. I like numbers. I say, you know, this is number two. I say, uh, I'm not going to lie. 21-31. That's a good score. 21-31. Donovan Logan has the score being 42-35. Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Bring it back to Philly. That's all I got to say. But you and Jalen Hurts got good though. I just feel like he deserved an MVP. But he didn't get it, though. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like. So, you rather like, win the MVP or Super Bowl? Super Bowl. 
So you think you think cause Pat Mahomes won the MVP that Jalen Hurts gonna say, fuck y'all, I'm going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. He ain't let that facility in. Okay. He's been working. All right. Let me know who y'all think gonna win. Y'all already know what we're about to do though. Drop hey. y'all predictions down in the comments. Let me know who you think gonna win. Um if you get it right, I cash up you a dollar. Not for real. Like I'll cash up you five. Nah, he he tweak it. I, I don't got it like that. <laughs> I don't got it like that. I give you a dollar. 50 cent. Maybe. If you win the Super Bowl with the score and with the win or loss, I will give you $5. $5. Cash out. And then I cash you people. So you really got six. <laughs> you got six dollars. Go buy you some chips, some bubble gum. <laughs> Go buy you a Snapple <laughs> or Arizona. <laughs> hey, Arizona. I was like, hey, I'm like, Arizona. <laughs> Bro, you buy you was good ass. Subway sandwich. Uh, you, know <laughs> you gotta be the half though. Okay. You gonna you get that foot long? You can't buy a foot long. Uh, yeah, nah, that feel like twelve ninety nine now. Half with no drink. Yeah, yeah. No lace. No chill. <laughs> no baked no chips. chips. Five, four, three, two, oh, just one. Hit. Hit. P. Donovan Logan. I want to thank God. I want to thank my mom and dad. And I want to thank my AAU basketball coach for you. Mm -hmm. What he do? I mean, we was four years old. He didn't do much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do much. He taught me the game. He taught me the fundamentals. I go over these, uh, these trades. The uh, biggest trade, obviously, is the KD trade to the Suns. Uh, the Suns received KD, TJ Warren, and the next received Michael Bridges, Cameron. Cameron Johnson, somebody called him, I bet. Mm. Go over that. Tell me what you think. I feel like that is a great addition to the Suns team. Uh, even though they lost two defenders, like two important defenders that they had. Uh, Mikael Bridges was a scorer. He could also play defense. He could shoot the three. He could take it in the paint. He was a tall guy, athletic guy. You know, you got to love people like that. But when you bring in a player like KD, he really, that's something that really just adds to the team. Like, that's a, a score that not too many people can stop. The man seven one and plays point guard. What can you ask? It's like Giannis, but I mean, a little bit small. Like I said, bro, I just CP three is not a winner. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker is a killer though, and KD, you already know he's a big three seeker. Like he just one of them. He a gold digging big three dude. Nah, he he always want to he always want to find his way into that. He big always find a big three, bro. Oh, no way. bro. I think they're gonna go to the second round. Probably get bounced next year. Would probably be a better year for them. Okay, okay. You know, this year. They gonna if you rely on Devin Booker, they should be all right. But if they trying to rely on KD. No. no. Even though I think KD is the most unguardable basketball player, but nah. Okay. Moving on. Lakers traded Russell Westbrook bro, to the Jazz. I personally like this trade because I feel like Russell Westbrook is gonna just feed right into that Donovan Mitchell role. Mm -hmm. um, the Lakers receive this is a long. Hold on, I'm just trying. Uh, the Lakers receive Jazz Russell, Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, Timberwolves receive Michael Conley, and uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker. And the Jazz receive Russell Westbrook and Juan Tusco Anderson. Right? Juan. <laughs> Juan. Juan. <laughs> okay. Your thoughts? Um, I feel like the Lakers made profit off of this trade. Um, Russell Westbrook was a he was coming off the bench for most of the season. Um, he was being a productive player closer to the end of the trade deadline. Like, you started seeing Russ lay the ball up more, be a little bit more confident with the ball. But at the end of the day, I feel like it was good to kind of let him go. Um, they have way too many point guards. They have Pat Bev, Dennis Schroeder, worst point guard to ever come out of Germany, by the way. I'm telling you this now. Who's the best? Not Dennis Schroeder. He get buckets sometimes. It depends. He'd be if he If he just got paid that Friday, Schroeder coming out in there. Saturday. Man. 17, he's going for 17. But if he ain't get paid in a month, two months, then the shooter probably be 2.7 turnovers. You know how that goes. Yeah. Russ yeah. is good when there's no big ass nigga on his team. <laughs> like, if he got to play with LeBron, he's going to always shrink. Because he just going to pass that. Bro, he, he, was LeBron. With, he was with Bradley Bill, bro. They were straight. Bro. Yeah. In Washington, he was straight. Get, get, your little, get your little six, man. Yeah. Russ right. going to be good. He's going to be good. That's a good, that's a good little trade. My favorite trade, obviously, was the Mavericks trade. Um, the Mavs got Kyrie Irving, Marquise yes. Morris. The Mavs get Spencer Dinwiddie and Dorian uh, Finley Smith. I like this trade because I think Kyrie and Luka are going to mesh. Uh, they'll probably go to the third round, fourth round. Um, they're going to be good, bro. Because everybody can forget it. Go, oh, it's defensive. No. 2023, this is all oh, offensive oh, basketball, bro. They're about to score the mess out of this basketball. Okay. And I'm a Warriors fan. They're going to be our biggest threat. 
I feel like I like I like that trade a lot. Um, um, I also feel like that's a good thing for the Nets as well. They have a real young team. Uh, the first game that they played without their superstars, they won, actually. Cam Thomas is ridiculous. The man goes for 40 every game. He's went for 40 the last four games that he's played. Um, they're just a young team. You got done what he can shoot. It's a young team. Uh, the Mavs, that's a great trade for them as well. Uh, you can see with Kyrie's debut, he had, I believe, like 28 points to 30. He had like seven, eight assists. He was playing a good game. And Luke was on the bench. So Luke was admiring everything. He was so proud. He was just clapping him up on the sideline. I don't know what type of, what, what language, what language? Isn't he like Scandinavian? Scandinavian? Ain't it? Am I tripping? I don't know. I think he was Scandinavian. Okay, he might be. He been playing, he been playing pro since he was like, Seven. <laughs> the funniest trade, we talk about the real trade. We already know the funniest trade, bro, is John Wall is back in Houston. I'm gonna drop that clip right now. <laughs> you gonna see that right now? <laughs> right now, because that bit is funny. Um, trash. I don't even know. I know. Beyond trash. Like, because uh, I'm going there thinking James gonna be there, you know what I mean? Once yeah. I get traded. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he already wants out. I mean, we lost 20 in a row. We were trying to lose on purpose. Tanking. Yeah. yeah. Like, we start studying this thing, Justin Pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like we started meeting. This is how I started lining was I saw news like me, David Nawaba, mm -hmm. Jay Sean Tate, Justin Patton, somebody else. I'm like, but who the? F it's, <laughs> it's funny uh, because John Wall was real life like this is no folks. Not for real. Like, like he was done with them. Like and they said nah, bro. Like. Come here. Like dissing them for real, for real. Like, no. Talking about everybody on that team. He said, nah, spin back for me. They said, nah, nah, spin back. Come on, come here. <laughs> We're not done with you, John. <laughs> come here. Come here. <laughs> said, I'm not done with you, Jonathan. Hey, come on. <laughs> um, the Clippers received Eric Gordon, which that was a good pickup for them. Uh, the Rockets received John Wall, Danny Green. Danny Green is a good pickup for them. And the Grizzlies received Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard has been a bucket since he was 13. So he, he, he got sniped. I want to give, we got to give him a moment of silence. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that cool? But we all just got to say congratulations to LeBron James. Um, all time score leader. We are literally watching the greatest player of all time touch his basketball right in front of our eyes. Okay? I just. Everybody just bow your head. Say thank thank you, LeBron. Say it. Thank you, LeBron. Thank you, LeBron. For being the second best basketball player we've ever seen. Appreciate it. But congratulations on being the best scorer. That's the best category that you're at the top of. I appreciate that. For sure. Salute. Your kids and Savannah are very tired. You too. Proud of you too, LeBron. That's the end of episode three of Beyond the Scope, man. I hope y'all like this video, man. Uh, we got more content coming soon, though. Uh, make sure y'all share this video, bro. And if you in class not doing nothing, if you sleep in class, man, put this video on the projector. Yeah, y'all do it. And if you get in trouble, call us. I ain't scared of no principal. What are y'all doing? Wait, what are you doing right now? Go like that video, please. No, 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 not please. Wait, I'm telling you. Hold on. What? Did you see that? What are they doing? They didn't subscribe. Oh. What are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> what they got? That like that button. Hit that subscribe button as always. Share the video with your mama, grandma, sister, stepsister, godson, godmama, adopted children, adopted mama. Okay, who you share this video with? Your Make sure you coach. share them with somebody. Favorite coach, somebody. Yeah, sure. With that said though, love y'all. Do it. We at? <laughs> <laughs> Go on the plate with this cake of the Drake. Not 21, but we keep a cake. Oh, mm. uh, oh. I like uh, that. Uh, <laughs> I like that.